or the debt? I think that's an altogether different uh, legislative <laughs> proposal that I wouldn't be opposed to, and uh, but that that's not we're not we're not telling the federal government how to spend its money here. We're just telling them to either use and encouraging them to use the property or dispose of the excess property. All right, thank you very much, and you'll back. Gentlelady lady from Pennsylvania is recognized for any questions she may have. Gentleman from South Carolina is recognized for any questions he may have. I you bring this up. Um, there's no space being used for milk cows, were there, that you found? <laughs> I, I, the GAO uh, did its study, as far as I understood it, in D.C. proper. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure I've seen a lot of Holsteins uh, wandering around the district here, but I, I don't know of any uh, space that was used for cows here. If there were space, could that bring the price down if it would let the cows produce milk, rain, rain or shine? Well, I, I'm just, I just don't know about that. I better just leave that one alone. To be here in D.C., I'm not sure how versed they are at, at dealing with milk and cows. Thomas might have to. But on a serious note, we do need a new FBI building, don't we? Well, Is that not the most ludicrous, <laughs> I, it, <clears throat> unbelievable money, waste of taxpayers' dollars? All these, all these buildings sitting empty, and it's all over the country. But particularly in Washington, D.C., well, building think, a new FBI building. <clears throat> I, I think that's the point, if, you, if, if the gentleman would just allow me, is, is that these are headquarters here in Washington, D.C. And if the utilization rate is that low here at the headquarters, just imagine what it is. They didn't survey all across the country. Right here in D.C., uh, 17 of 24 buildings with that lower util, util, utilization rate and some as low as 9% utilization. Yeah. Well, th thank you for bringing this up, bringing this. Gentle lady from New Mexico is recognized for any questions you may have. Thank you, Chair. And, you know, I don't have a big issue with better understanding how our federal real estate's been used and what is the appropriate measure uh, to take uh, to do it. I just wonder why we're doing this, why we're doing this now, why, when we have so little precious time. Uh, and it strikes me that you know, the anger that we've seen Republicans have over so much of what's related to the pandemic is kind of like they're still mad about how bad President Trump botched the whole response to the pandemic. Four years ago, the country was gripped by a pandemic that caused inflation because of supply chain issues, together with Putin, who, with his war, has uh, you know, caused tremendous inflation in gas prices. That pandemic killed over a million beautiful American souls. Four years ago, Trump told us that April winds would blow it away. He told us to drink disinfectants. He failed the most pre basic presidential duty that he owes to the American people, as we heard last Thursday. He failed the duty to care. Thankfully, President Biden won the election, and with congressional Democrats, we successfully pulled America out of that health crisis. We averted the financial catastrophe, the pandemic, and we saved lives and livelihoods. Rather than using this horrible tragedy that the pandemic represented to come together as a nation to save lives, Republicans have spent the last four years complaining about everything from the vaccine to how the pandemic accelerated the way people work. Uh, and I think looking at the way we now occupy the federal buildings is one of the cases. I do have some concerns uh, regarding the fact that every building is different, every community is different. Some of these federal buildings are in places like D.C. where there might be a lot of commercial places. Others are in rural areas where there just aren't uh, a, you know, options. And then some of these buildings are beautiful historic buildings that require cultural preservation concerns. So, you know, I do take uh, under advisement the issues that are in the statement of administration policy.